Are you ready to have your website get found by the right people? Are you looking to rank at the top of Google so you get more traffic to your website? Are you ready to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your organic traffic? If so, you are in the right place, my friend. Welcome to the Simple SEO Content Podcast, where I show you how to combine the power of SEO, search engine optimization, and content marketing to build your like, know, and trust factor with your audience, which allows you to get found by the right people and turn those visitors into buyers. No more frustration or confusion and no more time wasted wondering if you're doing your SEO right. It's time to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your business. Hi, and welcome to this week's episode on the Simple SEO Content Podcast, where we're going to talk about ChatGPT and is the content that it creates good for SEO? Are you going to get good results and rank at the top of Google if ChatGPT is creating your content for you? I'm your host, Rachel Lindhagen, and I'm so glad to have you here listening to me this week on the Simple SEO Content Podcast. So let's jump in real quick. If you're not familiar with ChatGPT, it is a new AI tool that has taken off by storm. It is a great tool that can be of a lot of help. It does have the ability to do things like write blog posts, write papers, all of that. So now there's a lot of buzz around the content itself that ChatGPT is creating. And is it good enough to write content for you that will rank. Can ChatGPT then also take it a step further and do your search engine optimization on those content pieces, creating your title tags and your meta descriptions and all the different pieces of it for you? Can it even tell you what keywords to use? No, <laughs> but there are things you can do with ChatGPT that are gonna make your life a lot easier, that are going to make you Easy, make it easier for you to make better content for your ideal customer. But I don't want you to just have ChatGPT write blog posts. I don't want you to suddenly start doing five blog posts a week. I'm going to do a daily blog post and I'm just going to tell ChatGPT to write it for me, copy paste, and boom. You're not going to get the results you're looking for. Yes, you're going to create a lot of content, but it's not going to be content that's really helpful. It's not going to be super relevant. And you run the risk of having a lot of duplicate content if you and your competition start doing the same thing. So in the research that I've done, just playing with ChatGPT, trying to understand it and see what you can do and how it works and what can you do that's not going to get you in trouble with Google, I see a lot of repetition in the content that ChatGPT puts out. That's why I say I want you to be really careful. I've tested it on multiple blog posts. I've asked it to write blog posts for me. And then I asked it to write another blog post on a similar subject, but with a different twist. And there's so much repetition and duplication in between the two that you're not going to get great results from it. It's just not there yet. That doesn't mean it won't be at some point in the future, but as of right now, it's just not there. So why do we even worry about ChatGPT and hurting our SEO? So your SEO, as you know, is your search engine optimization. That's how you're getting targeted, relevant traffic to your website. Your content is what Google looks at and shares with people. They share your website and it's your content that's drawing them in and then the way that you're optimizing it. So if you're asking ChatGPT to do it for you and it's creating content that's not high quality or it's not super helpful, it's not super relevant, it's not detailed, it doesn't give the information that your ideal customer needs, they're not going to spend time reading it. They're going to come to your site. They're going to see it and they're going to bounce. Bounce means they come, they look at one page and they leave because there's no value. And they're going to leave quickly, which means your average time on site is going to plummet because they're not finding what they need. Those are engagement metrics that Google looks at to understand how well people are engaging with your website. So if you have a high bounce rate and a super low time on site, they're not going to rank you high. And you're not going to get a low bounce rate and a high time on site with crummy content because your ideal customer wants good content. They don't want to waste their time. Think about yourself when you go to read a blog post or you go to watch a video or listen to a podcast like this. You want to learn something. Your consumer wants to know what's in it for me. 
They don't care why you're writing it or copying and pasting it. They want to get value. Google is very, very focused on high quality content, new relevant content, and helpful content. Those are the most important things to Google when it comes to ranking your content is really making sure that it's great quality. And as of today, the quality coming out of ChatGPT is not there. It's just not yet. It may be in the future, but it's not today. Google has historically said no AI content. You will not win. You will not rank high if you're using AI content. Now they have come back and they've changed that a little bit since ChatGPT came out in 2022. They're now saying, yes, you can use tools like this. However, you still need to be involved in the process. You need to ensure that this is still really great content and it's helpful and it's useful and your ideal customer is engaging with it. So how can you use ChatGPT to create content faster? This is really where I think it's going to be the sweet spot for tools like this. You can ask ChatGPT to help you with the brainstorming. So if you know who your ideal customer is and you know what your content pillars are and you're trying to plan out your content for the month and you're not sure what you want to cover, you can ask ChatGPT to give you 10 blog post ideas for your ideal customer and your content pillar. You can ask it to give you keyword ideas you could potentially use for this ideal customer and this content pillar. You then are going to want to go and verify the keyword ideas that it gives you. You're going to want to do actual keyword research on it the way that I teach you by going and seeing who's showing up in positions one, two, and three on Google. How similar are they to you? Do you have a really good chance of ranking for that keyword or not? Like you're still going to want to be involved in the process. You can take those 10 ideas that ChatGPT has given you and you can use those as a guide to help you figure out what blog posts you want to create this month for each of your pillars. Maybe there's one in there that's really engaging and exciting and you're like, oh gosh, I hadn't thought about that before. You can ask ChatGPT to help you outline that blog post. So if there's an option that it gives you that you like, then you can say, hey, would you help me outline? What should I include in this? And then from there, I want you to actually write the post yourself. Don't ask ChatGPT to write it for you, but you can have it help you with the brainstorm. You can have it help you with the outline. You can have it help you take your posts that you've written and you can put it back in there and ask if there's anything else you should add. Is there semantically related search or semantically related keywords that you didn't add? Is there anything that you're missing? You can ask it to take your headline and make it more exciting. You can ask it for headline variations. There's a lot that you can do. But no, the content that comes straight out of it when you ask it to write a blog post is not ready to post. Now, I've tested both ways where I've just asked it to outline, and I've also asked it to give me a first draft or to create a draft of a blog post. I personally find it's faster to go with the outline and write it myself than to try to edit what the tool is giving me and turn it into a blog post that I would use because there's so much repetition in it. There's, It's not got the perfect personality. It doesn't really understand nuance of communication. It's, it's a robot. It's a machine. There are limitations. So test it. Play with it, use it, but don't just think I'm going to use chat GPT. I need nothing. I don't need my content writer anymore. I don't need to worry about learning SEO because chat GPT can do it, do it all for me. It can, but you're not going to get the results that you're looking for. If you want to get results, meaning you want to rank at the top of Google, you want to get traffic to your website, you want that traffic to convert, you still need to make sure that you're involved in the process. It's going to be very important that you focus on creating really great content that's super helpful, that provides value, that anticipates the questions your ideal customer is going to ask. And then you want to make sure that you're optimizing that content for the keyword that you've chosen. And I want you to do your keyword research and choose your keyword before you write any content, because that way you're going to make sure that you're creating content that has an audience that's already looking for it. There's no point in creating content and spending time 
writing blog posts or creating videos if there is no search demand for that term. I want you to make sure you are always writing and creating your content for your audience and that there is interest in it. Then you're going to optimize it. You can ask ChatGPT to help you with things like writing a title tag and writing a meta description. However, I found that they don't follow best practices. So it's really important for you to know what those SEO best practices are. So as a reminder, your title tag is 60 characters maximum, and that includes your spaces. Your meta description is a maximum of 160 characters, also including spaces. If you don't have my SEO content quick start guide yet, go ahead and grab it. Go to the website etchedmarketing.com, go to the freebies tab and you can get it. Or DM me the word SEO on Instagram and the chat bot will automatically send it to you. It's awesome. It's super easy for you. And then while you're there, make sure you get signed up for the five day SEO um, website traffic booster class. I'm going to teach you live. We're going to meet, we're going to have a lesson, we're going to chat about it. You're going to learn all about how search engines are changing and your social media channels are becoming search engines and how to leverage AI and how to work with it. And more importantly, how the heck to get traffic to your website and build your email list and grow your business and all those things. It's going to be awesome. So do not copy paste content out of ChatGPT, it's not good enough quality for you, but use it as a tool. Have it help you write your outlines, guide your posts, give you ideas for titles, have it help you with the brainstorm. Give it a list of titles you're thinking about and ask it to make them more exciting. There's a lot you can do with it, but you cannot, as of today, you cannot publish the content that comes straight out of it and expect to get good results from Google. It's not the quality that you need. Maybe someday, but not for now. Thanks for being here this week. If you have any questions, DM me on Instagram. I'd love to chat and I will see you back here next week. That's all for today's episode of the Simple SEO Content Podcast. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you visit my website, etchedmarketing.com, and visit the freebies tab. Right there, you're going to find the SEO Content Quick Start Guide along with the free SEO class. So you'll have everything you need to know to get started with SEO and content marketing. Then do me a favor, if you wouldn't mind, if you would do a rating and a review of this podcast on your favorite platform, that would really help spread the message. And I do greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can always DM me on Instagram at Etched Marketing Academy, and I will see you right back here next week.